Hey guys, wanted to give you a, a um, update on um, this keto guacamole recipe that I've been using that I found online. I slightly changed a couple things in it. Um, I have um, green onion, um, uh, four avocados, a couple jalapenos for spice, some taco seasoning, only a half a tablespoon, and some fresh uh, farmer's market garden salsa. And after I blend it up a bit, I'm going to drop in, I normally use olive oil, but now since uh, keto, um, everyone's preferencing MCT oil because of obvious um, keto benefits. So um, I'm going to do that and I'll show you guys how it looks. Stuff always comes out super fast. And what we like to do is simply when you're done, put it in a Tupperware, therefore you don't have it in a, a bowl first and then you lose a bit going to the Tupperware. So I'll do that. One thing I did forget to add was um, hem uh, pink Himalayan salt because you know it's pretty much got no flavor. It's just kind of healthy and bland. Um, so it sucks that it was after blending this, but hopefully you watch this part before you do the last. And um, um, I just added it to the Tupperware and mixed it up for about five minutes. Tastes perfect. Now a great alternative to um, tortilla chips or any kind of chips when you're dipping. You can obviously dip um, uh, cucumber. Um, that's probably one of the better options, but I get from uh, Trader Joe's um, uh, just like a a burnt cheese or an oven baked cheese. If you look at the um, carb content, it's uh, less than um, one gram. So it's gonna, you don't even have to be concerned. Now they're, they're high in fat and um, really high in protein. So eating them alone is pretty star stark because it just, it's very harsh, you know, like a hard, harsh protein powder or something. Um, and it's got this burnt taste, but having it with a, um, a keto salsa or guacamole, um, it's absolutely perfect. It's a perfect keto snack food. Wicked. Thanks, guys.